let people want to check out. Yeah, just bring us on a tour, I guess, from the beginning here, because uh, people might have not seen uh, any of it. Yeah. So. Uh, let's head upstairs first. Uh, should we come up here? Everyone up here? Okay, get ready for this. It's pretty impressive. With the rift on, probably without, not that, not as impressive, but just imagine. Oh man. So the scale of this Earth is genuinely what I imagine it would look like if I was in a, in the International Space Station, looking out. I'm basing that off of, uh, oh, what happened there? I'm basing that off of pretty much nothing, but other than my personal opinion, but I imagine this is what it would look like, yeah. Wow. Well, this Earth is actually um, 700 meters away from us right now in uh, VR terms, so it's quite far away and huge. Oh, wow. We got a, um, a miniature model over here, and you can see the different versions of the Oculus Rift there, starting with the DK1, DK2, and I'm looking at my own body because I'm walking sideways. And then we have the consumer version right there. Right. Miniature model. Yeah, feel free to uh, give a give your own insights as we go through here. I'm, I prefer not to do all the talking. Yeah. <laughs> Right, well, in here, uh, just got a couple more paintings, um, nothing special, just a few fantasy paintings that I liked and thought were cool, so I stuck them in here. Okay, nice. Alright, let's continue. And if you're viewing and you see any judder on my side, that's because I'm streaming this. It's not going to be like that if you have a fairly decent PC and are viewing it. You can hold you can hold down Shift, by the way, to sprint in VR chat if you're on a keyboard and mouse, or it's uh, pressing in, I believe, or on the left shoulder pad of the gamepad. I've got a little um, cafeteria here where you can sit down and have a chat with a couple more people. Um, like, like I just demonstrated. Or... Yeah. Uh, when I sit down, by the way, if you're watching, uh, you see at my viewpoints in the middle of the uh, of the whole cafeteria. That should not be happening. It's just my avatar is sort of a little bit weird with that. Okay, let's go. Yep. And in this gallery, you've got the ability to actually jump into painting. Uh, it's called living art. So that's quite um, a nice feeling to be able to jump into the paintings themselves and explore the world that you see on them. Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. I mean, I've seen this first one, so let's go in. You will not hear my surprise, maybe Adam and uh, Dot said haven't seen yep. it, but uh, yeah, you'll have to live vicariously through them. Ooh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, this was my childhood nightmare, yeah, jumping through the wall into another world. <laughs> there oh, you go. Man. I've um, actually just finished this area, uh, to a point, it's still got a few tweaks to do, but uh, Very nice. this is the alien planet area, you've got a lovely view of the planet Earth there, with a solar flare up in the sky, um, and the rings around uh, the planet, and you've got all alien vegetation around here, um, you've got all sorts, um, tons to see, tons to explore, um, just look around and enjoy it. Okay, let's take like, I don't know, like five, five minutes to check it out and then come yeah, sure. back um, to the entrance. You've actually got a cave over here as well.
And after I look at this cave, I'm going to check the comments to see if anybody was there and said something other than Brute. Um, <laughs> so. Oh, Brute? Hey, Brute. Yep. All right, yeah. That's cool. Well, um, yeah. yeah, this is um, a little asset that I stuck in there. Um, I thought it was more alien-like, so I stuck it in here, and it looks really nice. It really fits with the environment. It's beautiful. <laughs> Very yeah. nice. Wow. Are those glyphs or just uh, the texture on the rotating blocks? Uh, they're just what well, they look like glyphs, but they're part of the actual texture themselves. But with the shot. All right. Add yeah. a little bit more to this area. It's a little bit more. I've got to add a little bit more. Oh, I just check the comments. We actually have quite a few people watching, so... Really? Yeah, and commenting, yeah. There are no questions. I looked for a question mark, and then I just went straight back, because the, that, the loading screen, uh, the Be Right Back screen, I don't want people looking at that too long, but... I think what well, I'll eventually... From... Oh, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the view from the uh, like exit of the cave is quite uh, impressive, because uh, you've got a view of that floating tree, and the alien trees and everything. It's quite a sight to see in the rift because you've got like a huge field of view in comparison to like on the monitor. So it really, the 3D depth and everything in these worlds is incredible. I can't recommend getting a rift in fact any of these worlds. They're absolutely incredible. As soon as it comes out. <laughs> as soon as it yeah. comes out. Yeah. Or if you I'm, can't wait, get a DK2 or DK1 or anything. Oh yeah. You need a very special breed of person, by the way, to stream this, because the slowdown on the stream, because it's like juddery for me uh, a bit. And if you don't, if you get prone to motion sickness, you cannot stream on Oculus right now, because it's just gonna, or maybe I have my settings messed up, but it would just make people really prone to motion sickness, like pretty much throw up immediately if they uh, were streaming at the same time. Or maybe I need to upgrade my PC. <laughs> Yep, that would help. That would definitely do it. So let's go over like those mountains down there, like we did uh, before. Oh yeah, sure. Um, you've got a little light over here as well that not many people know about. But if you look up here, you'll see it. Silica is demonstrating you can climb the mountains, uh, so let's follow Silica. This is the most beautiful view, one of the, one of the most beautiful views I've seen in VR chat. It's just being up here on this mountain looking at planet Earth. Oh man. Yep, and if you look up, you can see the shine of the uh, solar flare up in the sky, and the rings, and the galaxy, and if you turn around, you get to see the view of the entire um, alien area, and it's quite a sight. Even for me, and I made the world. That's the beauty about VR. Even though if you've made the world, it's different for every point of view. Even for the developer, it's quite breathtaking to see in VR. Oh yeah, I imagine, because you spend all this time making it and then you get to just live in it. Exactly, yeah, it's quite... It's a dream come true, um, it really is. And VR chat has made it possible for someone who didn't know anything about the developing and just do this. Yeah, yeah. Really? You started uh, recently with this? Uh, I started about a year and a half ago, uh, wow. and I didn't know a thing about Unity. And I didn't know the difference between a cube and a sphere, and now the work I do. And oh, it's all cool. thanks to VRChat, the community here, and my friends that I've made here. And So somebody, was, uh, Michelle Osorio was asking how long did it take to build this? Um, the actual space gallery took me 
about um, three days. This actual area took me about three hours. Wow. So the space gallery was only three days and you built the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I like to make sure, it will, like, to my best of my ability, um, I like to make things perfect um, and try to get everything absolutely perfect before I upload it to try and make sure it's the best possible experience for everyone who comes in here. Oh yeah. Wow. That's really nice. So let me just check, see if there's any more comments here. <laughs> nice. Okay, yeah, nothing else, so uh, let's continue onwards. Okay. Yep, sure. Uh, if we go back down to the cave that we entered, we can get back to uh, a form of reality. By the way, if you guys have noticed, you can see when people are speaking, the uh, the little box over their head lights up red, so that's how you can tell who's speaking. I'm just trying to predict any questions somebody might ask, like a generic thing, and or might be wondering about. Okay, back through. Uh, okay. All right, let's go in. Okay, let's wait for all the rest. Uh, okay, now I have not seen anything else, so this is all going to be probably amazing for me. Okay, right, yeah. the next one you can see here is Venice, um, and when we step through the painting you will actually see this area on the painting, so it's a real life area inside the painting, uh, just be careful when you step through it, I think the levels are dodgy, so just be careful, take it slow. Alright, let's do it. What? Yeah. Well, easy, easy. Oh, <laughs> right. Uh, respawn. Hit respawn. Uh, okay, I need to go. I can run back. Okay, one sec. <laughs> yeah, so that bit of I've got to fix it. Um, okay, so do not move as soon as you get in. Yeah, yeah don't want to fall yeah, off the pier. Yeah, just be careful. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay, now what is this area we're going into, by the way? Venice. Venice, okay. Cool, cool. Yep. All right, let's do it. VR chat. VR chat. VR chat. All right, there we go. <laughs> right. Oh, man, this is just like the, the videos I've seen of Venice. Hey, there you go. Uh, hey. Without the floods, but... Hey, how's it going, Lord Zone? Hey, what's up, Bill? Hey, wow. I, I'm just looking right over here in this area, this plaza here, and this is, yep. it looks like the space that you'd see um, when they show all the floods in Venice, and like tourists swimming through it. Uh, oh wow. And as you can see, you've got the clock tower, and everything's just like in a painting. <laughs> this is amazing, man. Wow. You can explore this massive part of Venice. Um, Obviously, it's not complete, um, but you can explore a huge section of it. Um, and it's, as it's based on a real area, it's quite impressive. Oh yeah, wow. You can tell it's simple, but it, it works. So now we are in Venice from the Space Gallery. Imagine eventually you can put probably like entrances to some of these doors and go in and just a simple little room or... Oh yeah, definitely. Let's go over there. And as Silica has found out at the end of this corridor, there is nothing that, um, so it kind of ends here. So th this is the end of the world right here? Okay. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Where's the where's the push animation? <laughs> uh, uh oh, there goes Lord Zone. Oh, they're they're done. Uh, th right, uh, that's press S on your keyboard to fly. If you're still down there. Oh, we can fly. Yeah, because Lord Zone's in yeah, here. Yeah, just yeah, because Lord Zone's here. Uh, Lord How? I do I do have the public going on. How? Yeah, all right. Well, yeah. Press I'll, S. 
I'll see you in about a minute here. Be right back. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, this is cool. So you guys can get an idea of the total size of this this map here for Venice. Wow, this is really big. Let's go let's go to the clock tower. Or let's see. Oh, there's Silica. Oh wait, no, I'm falling, I'm falling. Hey. <laughs> Alright, there there we go, I did the hover. Almost forgot that existed. Okay. Oh wait, there's my cow gun. Let me see. Boom! <laughs> if if this only had a reach like longer, I can just shoot at people on the ground. They'd be like, what's going on? Cows are dropping on me. Let's see. Not the problem to fix me in a particular thing. Ready? Okay. Let's get some dub step action. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah. There we go. This is thanks to Brute Bandit, by the way who created this wonderful gun and avatar as well. Part of the pill pack. Okay, let's go, let's go follow Lord Zonies down there. He came back from the dead. Okay. And down we go. If I can figure out. Incoming. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right, that's awesome. All right, we saw, we saw Venice now. Let's Let's try and get back to the uh, ma main space and then uh, check out the last room and then we'll call the stream at that. I don't want to keep it going forever, so. Okay, yep, yeah, sure. Um, follow me. And I guess I'll check for comments uh, once we're in the lobby. Yep. What I think I'm going to end up doing is just have my cell phone on my desk, like right under my eyes to the YouTube stream, so I could just glance right down under the nose area. Oh, there's music here. Or is that somebody making yep, that? Yeah, as you can tell, if there's any Tuda Online fans in the uh, crowd watching this, we're very big SIO fans here. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. All right. Okay, so Silica, you're right, you're okay. you're above ground right now. Maybe it's just for me, but yeah, okay, I'll check. I'll ch <laughs> okay, what <laughs> okay, well, well, give me give me about one minute. I'm gonna quickly check the comments. Okay, cool. We got nothing. So, um, okay. you know, YouTube should do something, by the way, where they automatically highlight on streams any comments that have a question mark at the end, so you don't have to like go through all the stuff that's just statements, you know, and you can glance right at the question marks. That'd be pretty neat. All right, <laughs> so let's go ahead and check. What, so, what are we going into here? What is this? Just like. Right, okay, this is more of the lines of there a goes labyrinth. Um, yep, you've got two mazes in this world, and they're big. Oh, big. get out of here. Okay, let's check it out. Right, okay, first things first, you've got a grand view of the planet Earth, um, outside here, in the galaxy. I see you got it rotating properly now. Yep, I've got it rotating properly. Okay, wow, cool. That's really nice. 
Okay, uh, basically if you look over there, um, you can see the two mages out there and I can assure you they are immense. Um, it took a group of people at least over an hour to work out how to do the first one and the second one, the first time I uploaded it, it took a few people at least three to five hours to do. So I won't be taking you in them uh, because it's a maze, so it's completely blocked off, you can't see a thing except for the walls around you. But I can assure you, if you love mazes, you can get a real kick out of those two. Okay, next time on VR Pills VR Chat Stream, we spend five hours inside the maze. <laughs> to, <laughs> to be continued. I hope not. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> it would be the most interesting stream ever. <laughs> where oh, yeah, am, where am I? I'm totally lost. <laughs> all right, all right, cool. Well, we're gonna. I guess the you'll, you'll end up you'll end up looking up that shit before you're done. Oh, oh man, <laughs> there's still you a few more some things. breadcrumbs on the way. There's still a few more things to see, by the way. So let's show them the rest of it, and then uh, yeah, sure. Then we'll call it after that. Uh, uh, back through the blue door. The blue door represents the entrance to the VR gallery. Okay. All right. Right. And then through here. We've actually got a um, little miniature city that you can select these little avatar right here and it will change your field of view to the micro little avatar as you can see. Um the appeals change. It's a bug, time. step on it. No, <laughs> oh, leave me be. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let's see. So we can run up here. Uh, wait, gotta yeah, look, just keep look on, through uh, the ground. Okay. Yep. Jump. Just keep on jumping up there. That's it. You got it. So th this is. Oops. So this is still. For those listening, this is still alpha like stage stuff. So obviously you can see through the ground, but it's it's alpha stuff here. So let's see how I can get up here. Remember your flat hill. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, why did I just do that? I could fly. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> all right. Here we are. Hey, what's up? Let's go. Let me look in the buildings. As here. you can see, the avatars that you could see being big, like ours, are now huge. And how do you fit your little avatar, or at least to a point? All right. Now, if you want to go back to change back to the big avatar, which is Carl, that is the default avatar for the R chat, or one of them at least, and now you're back to normal. Okay, uh, there we go. Back to default. All right. And there's one other thing, and this is another living art uh, picture we can jump into. Yeah. Actually, this is probably my favorite spot in the space gallery. Now you've got the uh, northern lights, you've got a meteor shower, you've got the whole nine yards. How come I still hear that roaring noise, uh, Kurito? Um, that's the actual sound. The sound that um, you're hearing, I don't know if you can hear it on stream, is the sound of um, a celestial space noise. Um, it goes along with the space light. It's supposed to be a uh, sound that you hear in space. It's quite nice. Um, yeah, and that's really nice. Hmm. Oh, then you got a reflection oh. of the Earth with the rings around it over there. Yes. Uh, that actually... oh, I didn't notice that. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah that's nice. Alright, well, anyway, I'm going to check really quick, see if there's any last minute questions, and after that, I'm okay. going to end the stream. Somebody says every, uh, Michelle says every time I look for questions, I miss a lot of them. Wait, hold on. <laughs> um, let, let me go back and look at the full list with my Oculus tilted up here.
Okay, so I got a few here. Alright, first one is... Okay. Okay, now have you built worlds before, and is it hard to do? From Michelle Osorio. Uh, right, okay, outside of VR chat, no I haven't. Um, I've built tons of worlds inside of VR chat, uh, but other than that, I'm completely a, a new person to development. Um, I've never built worlds before outside of VR chat, um, so I'm still learning, I'm still, I still consider myself a beginner, so, um, but no, outside of VR chat, not a one. Oh wow, okay, that's that's really cool because you built some of the, the nicest worlds I've seen. You know, uh, so that's that's good to know. Anybody can really go in here and build stuff. They spend time learning how to use the tools. Definitely, yeah. Um, like I said before, I did know the difference between a cube and a sphere inside Unity. So and VR chat makes it so easy to make your own worlds, and you just let your imagination run wild, and the sky's the limit, literally. Okay, cool, thanks. Well, let's look at the next question here. Um, did you eat breakfast, was one of them? <laughs> Who is that from? That's from Michelle as well. Oh, Michelle, <laughs> who is that from? Hobby and a job, a side job for me, uh, because I've been wanting to do this since I was a kid. Um, so, but yes, to your answer, to your question, yes, I do have breakfast. <laughs> all right, so he does eat breakfast. Um, he is human. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, um, anyway, um, what if there's something about medium and tilt brush? One sec. Okay. Do we know anything yet about compatibility between tilt brush or medium? And uh, what tools other than Unity you need to build a VR chat world? Um, well, you can pretty much use anything you want, um, as long as you can export it into um, Unity. Um, Unreal supports FBX. Um, a lot of programs support the format FBX, so you can use pretty much any program you want, as long as you get it into Unity, and then you can build your world with those objects, whether it's modeling or any form of the program as soon as you get to you. Cool, cool. Alright, let's see what else there is. I think there are like two more questions, so... Okay, so do you get motion sick at all? Do any of you guys, uh, Lord Zone or Kirito? And Lord Zone, do you use uh -huh. the Oculus Rift when you have this on? No, I've, uh, I've got the uh, desktop and that's it. Okay, so he definitely doesn't get motion sick unless the well. Okay, so anyway, Kitty, tell what about you? Um, no, I've actually got um, a DK one, um, and I do not get motion sickness. Um, but it does vary from person to person. I mean, some people are completely prone to motion sickness, so they probably get more than most people. Um, it varies from people person to person. It really does. Yeah, no, I agree with that. We've had, we were showing around uh, some people during, I believe, uh, VR chat. They were at TechCrunch, and the experience varied from, "Hey, I'm moving around. I don't care. You know, I'm not getting motion sick at all." To, "Maybe I'm feeling a little motion sickness." To, some guy just like came in. He just stood there, and two seconds later, he's like, "I'm motion sick." I'm not really <laughs> too sure if you can get motion sick just from standing in a. It was a very regular world too, but um, yeah, it does vary. Okay, let's see, we got one more here. Are there any worlds that would definitely give you some motion sickness in VR chat that would be like really prone for, a, like that'd be bad for people who are get motion sick? Oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Um, if you are completely new to VR, literally stick on the rift and then you just think, oh, this is going to be easy, I'll jump in on the roller coaster then, yeah, you're going to throw up, or you're at least think you're going to throw up. <laughs> um, but there are worlds that are absolutely mind-blowing, um, 20 times more than my own, um, that are a little bit overwhelming, and just looking around in the world, it can get you a little bit on edge to the point where you're not used to it. So, yes, definitely. 
Yeah, yeah I, I agree with them. Yeah, there's some like uh, jump chat is a fantastic world, and I love it, and a lot of people love it. Yeah. But if Definitely. you get motion sick, um, yeah, you might want to stay away from that for now. It's uh, sort of a hardcore world. Um, but yeah. uh, there are quite a few I did want to mention. Let me just make sure there's no other imminent questions here. Okay, that looks like it's it. So I did want to mention for anyone watching the stream or anyone who is going to be looking at this recording that um, you can check out uh, on V Archive. It's uh, the VR Pills page. There's also other people from VR Chat um, that have uh, that have put up panoramas of v VR Chat, and they're 3D stereoscopic, uh, 360 degree panoramas that you can either download and view off of Colorize on your Oculus Rift, or if you have a Google Cardboard, you can use something, um, either something like AAA Cinema, I believe is compatible, or you can just open up the pano, slide it into your Google Cardboard, your phone, and then view it in full stereo, almost like you have a Rift on and are frozen in time. Uh, there's a lot of really cool panos in there. There's stuff of uh, like Jaegers from Pacific Rim, and uh, all sorts of cool stuff. So do check that out. I'll put it in the comments for this stream. And uh, you guys have any last words here to say? Um, yeah, um, there are plenty of VR chat communities. There's a VR chat community on Facebook, which I hope a number of people to come in and join. Uh, there's one on Twitter. Um, and there's uh, Gunfish Universe to come in and watch the only uh, live stream for the Metaverse. Um, and he does a brilliant job, he's a great person, he's really friendly, so come in and watch Gunfish Universe. Um, and there's his website as well, and there's Twitter, uh, there's uh, Steam, there's a VR chat community on Steam. Uh, just come in, join, the community is really friendly, nice, and very helpful. So come and build your dream and your world, and hope to see you soon in the Metaverse. Great, great, thank you. And, and uh, yeah, I'll be sure to put that in the description as well, all those links. And tomorrow, yep. by the way, is Friday. Is it karaoke night tomorrow? Uh, I believe so. I'm not quite sure. Uh, depends if anybody's getting over the uh, hangovers or anything like that. Yeah, that's always uh, going to be <laughs> something to look yeah, out for. Yeah, that's going to be an issue, yeah. Okay, well, great. Well, thanks, Lord Zone. Thanks, Kito. Thanks, Silica. Um, and we will see you guys next time. Believe me, I will be streaming this a lot. As soon as there is a new world or a new space or some event, I'll be here to stream the adventures in VR chat. All right. Thanks so much. See you next time. And there'll be an awkward pause for about a minute while I figure out how to stop this stream. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Next time. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.